Jeez. And those are legal too? Those are legal. Ah. What about, would uh, tie wraps work? Wait, well, no, because they'll get caught. You want to do those. The maiden yeah, voyage. Like 10 bucks for those strings. But they're UV resistant, so. The, the string? Yeah. Well, this is all new to me. <laughs> that was the defending champion. Oh. He's taking us to court because he's been racing without it. <laughs> well, we can have a fourth of July one. This is just a preliminary. It does, doesn't it? But you know, it's probably going to last today. It has been a Oh, well, once you put it in. Once you, oh, you don't have the springs. You're missing the spring. Chris and D's something. We don't know yet. Is that a movie camera? It is. And coming up in the committee boat would be Mark. Mark will be the start and finish line for the race. Unfortunately, Chad will not be racing today. He had some boat issues, which you can see right here. Uh, wouldn't be able to get too far with that rudder. But I'm sure that the other two will have a great time. All right, I'm sitting here with Chad, waiting for the committee boat and the participants to return. And Chad has a prediction. Yeah, this is the way I see it. If the races are over and Tim is the winner, Leanne's going to claim that it's because her boat was sinking and uh, uh, she, he had an unfair advantage. Uh, if Leanne were to win, uh, Tim is going to claim that it's because the winds were very light and 
she's lightweight, and so that she had enough to That's my prediction. You heard it here first. That's Chad's prediction. We'll return when we see the boats coming back and find out the results. So while the sailors and the committee boat are out in the blazing heat with a good wind, yeah. those of us on land are content to relax <laughs> in the shade with a brewski. <laughs> and Bolin's happy too. Yes, I'm talking about you, Bolin. <laughs> The arrival of the committee boat signals the race must be over. Ah, the competitors are just now coming round the bend. Not sure what Captain Timmy's doing there. Ah, paddling. Ah, Liam got stuck in the bushes. There's Leanne's mast. Captain Tim. And Mark has returned. What are you doing? Don't record me. Okay. I'll go back out here and see what Captain Tim is doing. Leanne still appears to be stuck as her mast has not moved. The mast is now moving. She should be arriving around the corner shortly. Uh, here come the competitors now. And as we turn to the committee boat captain, Captain Mark. Captain Mark, what uh, what was the outcome? Who won the race? Leanne, both times. Both times. Leanne won both times. Tim had the oh. wrong sail on. Oh, Tim had the wrong <laughs> sail on. So what happened out there? What what uh, caused? The sail was too heavy. I had no boat speed. I needed a fat sail, a parachute sail. 
how did that um, how did that vang on the outrigger did that play a factor? It's going to play a factor because it didn't matter. The sail, the wind was so light that no matter what I tried to do for trim, it just didn't matter. But strategically, she beat me fair and square. Till next time. So Leanne, how does it feel to be the champion of the day? <laughs> well, what was your strategy out there? The strategy was have the a left side of the course. Have a, a tissue paper sail and stay <laughs> as close to the rum line as possible because the wind is very fluky. There's, there's Tim guessed right wrong. <laughs>